Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series called... Uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to be playing the game uh, Rogue Legacy, which is a new game I just picked up on Steam, uh, which is a retro game where you play as a knight in this case. Um, I've played a little bit before just to see what, what it's like, if it's possible to do a let's play on it, and I think it would probably work out. My main problem is that I will probably have a lot of trouble trying to talk continuously whilst playing the game. But hey, I will do my best. Anyways, let's get into it. You can jump, you can punch, and this is the very first time I'm entering uh, the castle because I uh, deleted my save for you guys. So here we go. Building. So you start off by entering the castle. You can smash stuff into pieces. I have so far no idea what's behind this door, but I'm guessing it's sort of a boss. If you press up when you're on this thing, it's a teleporter. So as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. If you press tab, you can see your map. Um, so, yeah, let's read the first journal. Journal entry, entry, <laughs> journal entry number one. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight we will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. So that's cool. Whoa! Yeah, you kind of get just thrown into the action, and you... The first time I played it, I had no idea what to do. But since I've tried it out a few times now, I know what it's all about. So, all guys, all the uh, different enemies have like different movement patterns that you... Uh, kind of get the hang on... Get the hang of... When you've played it a bit. But yeah. Uh, so far nothing too dangerous. Whoa! Let's see if there are any um, settings I can change. Nope, nothing really. <coughs> so yeah. What you do is you gain these coins and every time you die you get to start all over again with a new character. Which is pretty much your your um, son or, or daughter, I guess. Oops, <laughs> I'm almost dead. Uh, so when I die, I will show you what that is all about. But for now, I'm just gonna try to survive. I have 22 out of 100 HP left. Come on, nice. Whoa, that was close. That was close as well. So, so far it's oh, yeah, actually doing kind of good, but the next next attack will probably kill me. Um, so you like rebuild your castle with the money you get, and you buy equipment, and you get new runes, which are pretty much skills, I guess, you could say. Um, oh, yes. Ah, damn it. So yeah. Now I die, and it says some tip, and you can see what type of enemies you've killed, and you move on. So now you're back to the title screen, which is kind of cool, because then you just, just press enter, and you choose your heir. So <laughs> they all have, have really funny uh, traits and uh, stuff like that. So, for example, this guy, Lady Teresa. Teresa? I know, it's a knight, you're a standard hero, pretty good at everything. Trait. Dextrocardia. Your HP and MP pool. Ah, your MP and HP pools are swapped. Who knew? 
and also OCD must clear house, break stuff to restore MP. You get different spells and stuff like that. So this guy, the bald and the beautiful. <laughs> this guy uh, swears a lot. I'm gonna try this guy, this one, Teresa. So this is um, your castle grounds. You have nothing to begin with. So I'm gonna invest 50 gold. Oh, smithy unlocked. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment. Blah blah. blah. And uh, then you have to find uh, blueprints for different uh, equipments scattered all over the castle. Gonna not gonna unlock anything else right now because you can unlock stuff at the blacksmith. Uh, blah, blah blah. He just tells you that you need blueprints. I'm gonna go ahead and buy nothing. So I'm gonna check out the manor again. I'm gonna upgrade my health. So now I have 80 gold, which you'd think is okay, it's cool, I can upgrade some stuff, but now what? So now death is outside the castle. You talk to him and he says, one must pay the toll. And every time from now on you enter the castle pretty much, you have to give him all your money. So you have to make sure that every run is a good one, because if you don't get money that your um, next run, you're not gonna make any money and you're not gonna get any better. Of course, you're gonna get better, like, you know, skill wise, but not otherwise. So, but it's really a cool game, I'm, I'm really liking it so far. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it's pretty intense, so. What was this? Stat found, MP increased 5 plus. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, you can find a lot of cool stuff in these chests. Uh, so, I'm gonna try this one more time, and when I die, I'm gonna call this a day because it's getting kind of late. And, uh, this is just a first try to see how well this goes and how well it is received. Because if you don't want to watch it, what's the point of me making these episodes? So, yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna try my best uh, and see how far that takes me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no. Crap. <laughs> so yeah, that's how good that went. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't even think about trying to s um, make this into a certain amount of time. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. I have no idea how for how long I've been playing, so I'm gonna try this one more time because I don't think... I think I can... Um, I can try one more time. This time I'm going to be Sir McGladdery. Mage who gains mana with each kill. He's bald and he's beautiful and because of my dwarfism I'll never get to ride roller coasters. Let's try that. 180 gold. Can I buy some something something for that? I think I need 200 gold. Did I? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, he's tiny. That's cute. <laughs> 250 go 50 gold. Oops. Um, 150. I can buy a helmet. Stylish gold helmet. Wow, I only do 12 damage. Something tells me I'm not going to do that good this round. <laughs> balding. Haha, <laughs> so, so punny. It said balding instead of build. Just because he's the bald and the beautiful. Okay, so no money so far. Ouch. Ooh. Wow. This is going to be so much harder than last time. But he's fast. Crap, I'm almost dead. Damn it! Ah, this is such a frustrating game! <sighs> Anyways... That was my first <laughs> episode of Rogue Legacy. And um, if you didn't figure out who you have been listening to these past minutes, it was Michael. 
I'm going to try to arrange another Dota game with Jonas because it has been quite well received so far and we really really love the game but we're having some issues with who is going to record and so far and so forth but we'll try to sort it out for you guys um, otherwise we'll let you know um, if we have to postpone it or something like that then we'll have to play something else um, but for the time being this has been Michael from Miju Gaming I hope you liked what you just watched and if you did like subscribe and all the good stuff uh, it's all in the description below uh, go to our Facebook like us tweet us tell us what to do next tell us if you like this should I do more and have a good day hope to see you soon bye